Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to uh, Madam Kalila. Today I will present about my uh, individual presentation about Zara cookies. Okay, so the introduction for uh, Izara Cookies, it is a company uh, registered as a small medium enterprise company where they have 20 workers uh, who is working uh, full time and Izara Cookies also they use strategies, global strategies which is the strategies where um, the company used to expand their business to next level so next uh, in this in this uh, presentation I will we will talk about uh, the impact that Izara cookies face internationally which is uh, what what does the Izara cookies uh, face when they uh, try to when they um, do business internationally and the last, the last one is the benefit and the limitation for Izara cookies by uh, doing the business in international level. So a little bit about uh, the SME, which is the Izara uh, cookies background. So it is a company that, that based uh, in Kelantan. The first uh, store uh, they have is in Kelantan. And the owner, which is Mr. Razali, who is the owner of Izar Cookies, uh, he have the uh, a degree on culinary, so he has a little bit of background of culinary, which is good because he uh, doing the cookies business, which is a part of in culinary area. And Izara Cookies has taken seriously to involve their business to the next level, which is to the interna international level, in 2013. Okay, uh, Izara Cookies has started the business with only two flavors for the cookies, which is the uh, almond, almond cookies, and also the cookie, uh, chocolate cookies, almond cookies. And nowadays, uh, Izara Cookies has over 1,000 outlets in across the country, especially in uh, uh, in in uh, Venezuela of Malaysia, and Izara Cookies also have uh, 200 agents across the country, across this country. I'm sorry. So let's go about uh, the type of strategy that Izara Cookies use. So, um, Izara Cookies choose a global strategy, which is a process of planning of their business in order to make their business successful in the world market. So, uh, and Izara Cookies also uh, in global strategy, they uh, used to expand the business to international level, which is uh, exactly what Izara Cookies did. Okay, uh, in order to make uh, Izara Cookies from local business to be an uh, international business, Izara Cookies uh, use global strategy. This is important because uh, Izara Cookies has a higher aim or higher goal to reach the international level. Um, and nowadays, uh, as, uh, if you don't know, then I will tell you this. Izara Cookies has already uh, market their business in China. Uh, th that's a part of the strategy that Izara Cookies use. Uh, they expand their business from local to um, international level with help of Ministry of Domestic Trade and Consumer Affairs (KPD and HEP). So this is good for the company because uh, the the government will help the SME. Uh, to grow the business in international level and next is the competitive advantage that uh, Izara Cookies have that they apply in their business uh, the first first thing is the uniqueness of the product uh, since uh, we know the cookies is not uh, very uh, not very common in China for example since which is 
China because China is uh, the first country that Ibarra Cookies chose to uh, expand their business. So in China itself, since uh, Ibarra Cookies has imported their uh, their cookies to China, so uh, in China market, uh, Ibarra Cookies has a lower price than other uh, import product cookies. And Izara Cookies also chose China as a location for the first in the market because China, as we know, China is a huge country. So the target market of the uh, location that Izara Cookies chose is a very, very huge customer or the uh, targeted uh, consumer that you will have is very, very huge and the product that you will be sell is will 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 be high in the market and the demand is also will increase since a lot of people or uh, the customer uh, require or consume your product other than that the Izara cookies also have a value creation which is Izara cookies use the primary activities in their operation everything start in scratch which is including the uh, raw material the uh, packaging, the transportation they use, and every single thing, they made it uh, very, very uh, simple but high quality. Okay, okay. Next uh, is the impact on the SME internalization performance. So this is where the impact for Izara Cookies. Izara Cookies has a higher goal uh, in long term have stable financial and also have trust from local and international market okay for high higher goal in long term this is because uh, Izara cookies has uh, their target uh, from year to year and they ho also have a very stable financial this is because once you go international level your financial have to be stable this is because if your financial is not stable then you cannot uh, cannot maintain or sustain your business in international level and in local level okay and the last one is the trust from local and international market okay this is because when once the company hit the market in the uh, in international level people in local country will have high expectations for the company itself for example like Izara cookies has go for China market and then uh, the consumer in the country, uh, the home country in Malaysia, uh, we have high expectation where the cookies must taste, wow, this is the international level of cookies. In the international market, once one, uh, lots of company they been export the product to, then the, uh, the, the new country that they want to approach or they want to go into, in the country then they will have a good expectation or good impression for the company so that they can easily get into the market last is the relevant information that the company use to the benefit and limitation for the benefit uh, Izara Cookies has reduced the cost production so reduce the cost of produ production uh, this is a very 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 um, important since Izara Cookies has uh, grow their business in international level so that once you produce the product in large of amount and the cost will be decreased uh, and the next uh, benefit is improve the quality of the product so since Izara Cookies go to international level so they have to do the R&D research and development for their cookies in order to survive in the market they have to improve the quality of the product so that the cookies they they export to the those country is still eatable and very crunch. Okay, so the last benefit for uh, Izara cookies is the product flexibility. The packaging of the cookies is small, but not too small and not too big. Very easy to carry the package. You can bring your cookies with you wherever you go you can put it in your pocket or in your bag 
and you can also eat the cookies since uh, the packaging itself is suitable so you can eat it wherever you want and if you feel full then you can seal it and that's very very quite suitable for the product the last part of the this section this area is uh, limitation so the limitation is responsive from local market okay this is because for my um, res uh, research that I've made for this uh, company which is Zara cookies responsive from the local market in Malaysia itself is quite low as for the um, international level uh, Izara Cookies has uh, has a limitation in terms of the currency changes since current as we know that currency changes is uh, fluctuate we don't know um, when is the country uh, when is the currency will be higher or lower so that's the limitation for the company uh, to face in, uh, but in order to sustain in the international level market okay so in conclusion uh, as a conclusion we know that Izara Cookies is a uh, company that uh, made or produce cookies to um, export their product in the international market and Izara Cookies also use global strategy as their strategy to export the product in international level uh, and Mr. Razali, who is the owner of the uh, company, which is Izara Cookies, has planned to go to Thailand and a few other Middle East and West countries for his business. For example, like Thailand, Saudi Arabia, and also Russia, to expand their business other than uh, China, which is China. The Izara Cookies has uh, entered the market. And Izara, Izara Cook is also focusing on standardizing the product local and international level. So this is where we can see that the product uh, has started from two type, two flavors. So now they have six flavor, and all the six flavor they have uh, produced distribute in local and in, in international level. This is good because uh, Izara Cookies has standardized their product to the market in local and international market. And that's conclude everything for my presentation for today. And thank you for lending your ears and listening to my presentation. I hope you enjoy it. And that's all for me. Thank you.